and the pollution that I'm looking at is traditional pollutants as well as carbon. And natural gas being abundant has been a game changer in our ability to really move forward with pollution reductions that have been very hard to get our arms around for many decades. U.S. Uh, emissions of uh, CO2, carbon dioxide, which is a big uh, greenhouse gas that causes uh, global climate change, are down 12 percent relative to their peak five years ago in 2007. This was completely unanticipated. Data released Monday by the EIA indicates that carbon-related emissions dropped by 3.8 percent from 2011 to 2012 to their lowest levels since 1994. You know, we've been improving our emissions in this country without agreeing to the Kyoto Accords, without congressional action, because of innovation in the natural gas area. And, and that moves us down the carbon density scale. Not as fast as some would like, but it's moving us down the carbon density scale. We've been growing since then, much more rapidly than Europe, and yet our greenhouse gases are falling and uh, Europe's uh, uh, sort of turned around after 2009. The reason is because of shale gas, uh, which has been a natural gas recovered uh, via what's called uh, fracking. Let me say this, we should strengthen our position as the top natural gas producer because in the medium term at least, it not only can provide safe, cheap power, but it can also help reduce our carbon emissions.